All right, let's talk about Jordan Love. Jordan Love ends up with, I think, in some ways, a misleading stat line. To me, both the interceptions were just him trying to make plays at the end. I'm not going to, you know, criticize him too much for those. Uh, You know, the rest of the stat line would look good, although I still think there were some errors in his game, some mistakes in his game, and some issues he needs to work on, but also a lot of positives to take away. Again, Feels like every week we talk about Jordan Love. If you you know, took out his five best throws, he would look like a bum. And if you took out his five worst throws, he'd look like a star. So the inconsistency is an issue. Let's talk about the good and the bad of Jordan Love here against Pittsburgh. Starting off with a good play, a great play. Uh, this is the great throw. We're third down and three. You have a receiver who's going over the middle right here. And with it being a, a cover one blitz, it means that the middle of the field is going to be open. And with Christian Watson being the guy running this route, He's your number one option. He's the guy you're looking towards in these scenarios. Only had uh, two catches for 23 yards in this game, but uh, usually he is the guy you're looking for. Watch as Love is going to take the snap. He looks over the middle, and you see that there's a window. Not a wide open window, though. This is a tough window for Jordan Love to try and make this throw. But look at that throw right where you want it to be. I mean, that's great stuff there by Jordan Love to make that throw happen. I mean, that was not an easy window to make. To me, this is, uh, I don't know, uh, I don't know exactly how PFF does their big time throw things, but to me, this is a big time throw, right? This is one of those, okay, feels like even a star quarterback, even like Mahomes, like you're not expecting him to make that throw. You hope he can make that throw, but like if he misses it, you say, yeah, that was tough. So like, again, Jordan Love can do this. He is capable of these superstar plays, which is why he was drafted in the first round. And a play like this is why he wasn't drafted early in the first round, because it's going to be a man coverage play. Have a, again, it's Christian Watson once again, going this you know, quick route underneath, which makes sense, right? He's got this blazing speed. Let's see what he can do. Well, Love takes the snap, and this time Jordan Love is open. This time there's much more separation than that last one. Uh, and, you know, there's a, there is pressure coming for sure. But Love pump fakes, which kind of allows the pressure to get there, and then throws it wild. So it's like, you had time to get it there. If you want to say that the reason why the throw was wild is because of the pressure, I'm willing to believe that. Sure, he did get hit, you know, uh, kind of as he was throwing the football. Looked to me a little bit like he was, you know, getting rid of the football right kind of as he got hit. So that makes sense that that would disrupt it. But that's just one of those young player mistakes of like, you got to get rid of the football quickly. You don't always have the time, and if you have him open. I get why you want to wait a little bit, hopefully get a touchdown, but you got to trust your talent. You got to trust your receiver to do what he can after the catch. When you're open, just get the ball out of your hands. Like this one's going to be another one where it's going to be a a zone coverage play this time. And you have a receiver who's, you know, the concept on the right side of the screen is mostly set up to get the route that I've circled in white open, right? You have a couple other players who are hopefully just kind of running setup routes, you know, help get the main route you want on this play open. As you see, Love takes the snap. He looks over the middle, and it's worked. I mean, this is a window. Third down and six here. Pretty big spot in the game, actually. So, you know, second half, uh, down four points right here. You would love to convert on this one. Uh, you know, there's a window to make this throw. You can blame the pressure on the last one. This one, there is not pressure. He had a completely clean pocket, as clean as it's going to get. And this throw is just wild. I mean, it's, you know, not really close to where you'd want it to be. You'd want that to be, I think, higher and, you know, further towards the top of the screen, further towards Love's right. Uh, That's just not an accurate throw. And the accuracy thing is still being an issue with Love. A lot of times on these plays, I kind of say, well, it could be a communication issue. This is not a communication issue. This is, that's where he was supposed to put the football and he didn't put it there. Like, this one's another one, and trust me, Packers fans, we will get into more positives in a second, but, like, you know, uh, got to tell the whole story here, and, like, this was another key play and an important play as they ended up, uh, you know, not being able to get the go-ahead touchdown on this play, which could have gone a long way for them winning this football game. Uh, You know, if they lost by four, this was kind of a four-point play. On third down and nine, you have a receiver who's going to run towards the back of the end zone. This is Luke Musgrave, who's kind of really turning into a, a, a guy for the Packers, kind of something to note. But anyway, zone coverage. Let's see what Musgrave does. Love takes the snap. You have, you know, a player who was designed to cover the middle of the field now trying to cover him over the middle. So this is, uh, you know, in many ways, a good situation. It's Elijah Riley, a safety. So you didn't fully get like a linebacker on him, but still, there is a window, right? Can you throw it over the top? I mean, you got to have a pretty nice, uh, you know, size advantage there, you would think. 
Luke Musgrave is l- listed at 6'6", uh, Riley listed at 6 feet tall. So there's definitely a, definitely a way you can make this work, for sure. But again, this throw is just behind Musgrave, and you can't make that play. I mean, that's just not a not a catchable football. He didn't give Musgrave really a chance on that play. So these are the kind of ones that you just you do have to get out of your system. You do. And I don't know. Maybe this is just part of who he is. Maybe he's just going to miss some throws, and that's an aspect of his game is he's someone who has the positives but misses some throws. I think you can deal with some missed throws, like – Again, no quarterback bats a thousand, right? Every quarterback is going to miss throws. Tom Brady missed throws. Drew Brees missed throws, right? The most accurate quarterbacks in football still miss throws. But there's every time I watch the game, there's like three or four that just kind of get away from him. And he needs to at least get that down to one or two, I think, for him to be a real franchise quarterback. That's how I view it. Because when you see these positives, something like this is just amazing. And this is just like, man... The pros are there. Like, the upside is his highlight reel is 100% going to have a 1,000 comments saying, why are people disrespecting him? Look at how good he is, right? Because the highlights are great with love. Something like this, it's man coverage. You have a receiver who's starting on the offense's right, then going to get to the offense's left. This is Jaden Reed. And again, worth mentioning the situation, uh, third down and 16. So really, you're not expecting this route to get open, right? It's already, a, you know, man coverage. So there's already going to be someone on Reed. On top of this, there's a safety deep in that on that side of the field who really, you know, Reed is the only guy that safety is realistically going to be worried about. So, you know, because he's the only guy who's going to get over on that side of the field, you would think. However, when Love takes a snap, you know, maybe some questionable defense by Pittsburgh. Safety does not stay as far deep as he should have. You have Reed getting open, but this is still a difficult throw. For one thing, the fact that Love even noticed this is pretty surprising because you don't typically expect this to happen. So the fact that he was saying, hey, maybe it could happen, noticed it, that's good field vision. And then look at this throw. I mean, that's a thing of absolute beauty to get a touchdown on a play that really had no business getting a touchdown, you know, like that you didn't think was going to happen. So the ability to do that and make that happen is is fantastic. It really is for the Packers. Uh, and again, this is what you hold out hope for. He is someone who's still playing in his first season. You hope he can improve as a player. You know, there's like kind of really... There's three options, really, when it comes to quarterback play, right? There's the first option of they come in and they just look awesome right away, right? Like CJ Stroud, right? Comes in, just looks great. There's also the option of you come in and you kind of stink right away, uh, which also isn't the worst thing in the world because then you know you just need to go and get another quarterback. Then there's the the quarterback who comes in and doesn't look great right away, but also shows flashes. And to me, that is where Jordan Love is at right now. One more play to talk about, though, and this isn't really Jordan Love. It's Matt LaFleur, who I've uh, given a lot of credit for and I've defended a lot this season. I think people are cr- too critical of him, and, and I still agree with that. But like this play, it's a third down and 11. And, you know, Love's played well this game. Not perfect, but he's played well this game, in my opinion. So, like, I think you got to put the ball in his hands here. Love is going to take the snap. He immediately flips it out to a wide receiver, which, okay, I guess you could, you know, run a wide receiver screen. I wouldn't love that. But instead, it's a trick play to getting the ball back to a halfback, which also I have to mention, even if it worked, it was not going to pick up the first down, barring a broken tackle. Uh, but, you know, well, yes, it is kind of a weird, you know, unfortunate play as it looks like Jones kind of just dropped that one a little bit. It's kind of one of those situations where this always just sucks as an offense and always as a fan, uh, as a, I'm sure as the players as well, when you try something different and you don't just run a play on a third down and 11, when you're down in the fourth quarter and then you don't convert it, it stings. It's always awesome when it works, but it just stings when it doesn't work and it didn't work here. So didn't love that. I uh, would like to see them kind of, again, part of me too feels like this year is in many ways a lost year. At this point, you're trying to develop Jordan Love. That's what you're trying to do. Why are you not putting the ball in his hands here? Like the whole goal of this season is to develop Jordan Love. Seeing what he can do on a third and 11 down a point early in the fourth quarter, like that's more valuable than getting the first down basically because of just what this season is in my opinion. So, but yeah, that's how I view all of that. Uh, good, you know, Good game for Jordan Love. Definitely good game for Jordan Love. I, I know I criticized him at times, but I thought for the most part this was a, a quality game from him. Needs to make some of those throws, but uh, a, a good game, I think, by uh, from him. So, yeah, those what, that's what I think. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you. And, of course, as always, 
Thanks for watching.